Is assessment all about the marks that you get? Well, teachers who switch the emphasis away from marking and grading towards giving more detailed comment and feedback have found that their pupils are working much harder. The highest stakes in education are in public exams, like GCSEs and A-levels, when pupils are given a final grade, summative assessment. But recent research has concentrated on how formative assessment can be used more effectively in the classroom, because this happens on a regular basis, not just a single ritual. Dr Bethan Marshall is a lecturer at King's College London, specialising in the field of assessment. Formative assessment really is about all about the interaction between teachers and pupils and it's about looking at, um, it's about dialogue between teachers and pupils. When you look at a child's piece of work, that's the kind of evidence that you have for saying, okay, how can we use this evidence of what they've done so far to think about how they might progress and what they might do. And it's about helping kids to understand what they need to do next to improve. Dr Marshall co-wrote the influential booklet on assessment for learning, Working Inside the Black Box, which revealed key findings for the improvement of classroom assessment and evidence that this approach did raise standards. It advised, increase waiting time after asking questions. The aim is thoughtful improvement rather than getting it right first time. Feedback through marking. Feedback should be designed to cause thinking. Peer assessment. Pupils can only achieve a learning goal if they understand that goal and can assess what they need to do to reach it. And self-assessment. Pupils use traffic lights to indicate where they need to concentrate their efforts. Dr Marshall's latest research is looking at how teachers are implementing the advice given in the booklet and how the programme might be applied to a larger number of schools. The main findings are that actually formative assessment is quite difficult to do. It's difficult to do because teachers are under enormous pressure to cover the curriculum and we've done an enorm a big questionnaire that actually shows that although teachers don't believe that that's really their job, they'd like to promote children's independent learning, actually they don't do it nearly as much as they'd like to. This latest research reveals that teachers are implementing the procedures, the surface features recommended in working inside the black box. But because of the pressures of the curriculum, teachers are still just teaching to the test, rather than promoting independent learning. You need to change your classroom culture. It's not enough to just implement kind of procedures, that really what you want to do is to say, above all, you want the whole curriculum to service children's learning rather than the other way around. That you can do all the procedures in the world that you like, but unless you really want to know what a child has to say and you really listen to them, you can ask all the questions in the world and they can be beautifully phrased, but you're not doing formative assessment. Every teacher can improve the way they assess children's work no matter how long they've been teaching. Try looking at your teaching through assessment. Do I give quality feedback or do I just grunt a grade? Do I allow time for pupils' questions or do I just ask my own? Now the national curriculum is sometimes seen as a constraint here, but good formative assessment will actually cement children's learning, so it's well worth every minute that you spend on it. <laughs> <laughs>